Hey, it's Jay, and I'm here with another episode of Refugiations. For those of you that don't know, this is a series on my channel, um where if I have an epiphany about something, then I will just rant about it and hope it, it helps someone else, maybe. Um, today's Revigations episode is about where I'm from and my culture. So in case you haven't noticed, I am very, very white. Um, to the point where my friends make fun of me about it, even those that are white themselves. Now, I'm originally and physically and by law from Texas. I was born there in March 1999, but I've lived in Florida, Colorado, Texas, and Washington State, so I've lived in all four main time zones on the mainland, um, and that's created this disconnection for me, kind of. Um, I lived in Washington State for the majority of my life. I lived there for 11 years, so I guess it'll, and, oh my god, in two more, in just over two years, it'll, two or three years, it'll be half my life. Um, I currently live in Florida, I go to school in Tallahassee, and I live in Orlando, um, but I don't consider myself from Texas besides Lily and the accent, and like sometimes I don't even accept the accent, um, we hear it occasionally like, in certain words, certain vowels, but... I consider myself not from there because I, frankly, I hate Texas. Um, not just my relatives there or the people there in general, but I just hate the South in general. I'm sorry if you're from the South, it's nothing personal, but I hate the South and its history. Everything I stand for, I discovered when I lived in Washington. I was growing up there from the ages of six to... Um, 16 and 80% of the year was spent in Washington like for about nine years for the summers um, we went back to Texas to deal with family affairs with my grandma but most of the time I was in Washington um, and I hate Texas I hate Florida I don't hardly remember Colorado I lived there for less than a year so Washington's really the only home I've ever known that I've loved um, and I denounced everything else in the South, and I was kind of having this crisis about whether I should say, if people, because, like, when people ask you where I'm from, where, when people ask you where you're from, you usually say, like, where you live, like, oh, I'm from Orlando, um, or, like, oh, I'm originally from Texas, you don't say, like, oh, well, I was born in Texas, but then I lived in Colorado, and then in Florida, and I lived in Washington for 11 years, but now I live in Florida again. You don't just, you can't just say that because that's oversharing and nobody wants to know. Um, and so, like, I had this little crisis where I was like, should I just say Washington since I hate Texas? Um, and, like, I'm super pale, like, some famous vampires in Washington. Um, what do I tell people? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to write a song about this. <laughs> and so, literally, on my album, Slow Burn can find it on spotify i have this song called where i'm from and it's me just working through this um and it's like yeah i um when people ask me where i'm from i say from the star from the tree and the sun um and by that i mean from the star from lone star state um from the tree the evergreen trees and from the sun the sunshine state um like colorado one i don't know what its title is but also i wasn't there long enough to call it home um but now I'm just gonna say the Pacific Northwest that that's where I'm from in 10th grade we had this unit in English or basically the whole year we had this stupid book that was terrible this stupid textbook on culture and that was when I became painfully aware of how white and how boring I am in terms of culture like I didn't grow up going like following any religion um i am a very picky eater um i didn't even like really get attached to music until when i was 11 until i discovered taylor swift um i didn't start writing or pl playing guitar until i was 11 12 
and so I didn't know anything about culture and like what makes someone unique but I didn't have um anyone constant distinct anyone constant distinct fashion style like I wore dresses one day and the next day I wore cargo pants with um combat boots the next day I wore outfit entirely a purple with eight different shades I'm not kidding ask my friends they hated me that whole day um, <laughs> I when I moved back to Florida I was hit with this massive wave I guess not wave but this cultural shock of how many Hispanics were there and I was like I am so friggin white was definitely an outsider um not just because I moved across the country in the middle of high school but because I hadn't really encountered any Hispanics in that mass before um because there's not many Hispanics in Washington, like, it's mostly Asian people and, like, some black people and whites. That's it. Um, and so I was shocked at how fast everyone spoke Spanish. <laughs> that scared me. But I realized recently, and by recently, I mean in the last year or so, that I can make my own culture. I'm not gonna make my own religion, because I'm an atheist. I've, I'm connected with that word. I don't, I'm an atheist. But in terms of, like, um, what I like to eat, so I'm basic in that, in, in that way, whatever, um, that's fine, um, but, like, books and what I wear and music, I can make my own culture that is a mashup of Rush and Taylor Swift and Mumford and & Sons and Daughtry and Panic and that's fine because writing is my culture. Playing guitar and singing is my culture. Certain artists are my culture. And movies and video games that I like are my culture. What I stand for is my culture. What the peop human rights that I stand for are... would be the foundation of my culture. If I was the leader of a people, it would be quality of opportunity and no discrimination. Um, hobbies like YouTube and songwriting are my culture. Um, and when I discovered this, I started to feel happier and frankly, like myself a little more, um, which I've never had a really an issue with liking myself, but it, there was something in me that wasn't content. And when I just realized that I can make my own culture that changed so if like there's for some reason you feel like you don't have a culture like a lot majority of people I know do have a culture whether it's um religion or um you're bilingual or whatever um they have a very distinct culture and for, if so, for some reason you don't like me then you can make your own culture and it's perfectly fine so if you get is like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe for more bookish writerly activism revocations um stuff like that and ring the little bell down below to get notified whenever i upload i upload every wednesday and saturday and down below in the descriptions is links to my different social media so don't forget to follow me there thanks for watching bye